Contemporary Nursing Practice Nursing is concerned with the human response to an actual or potential health problem or life process. The nurse's role is more than just administering medications, vital signs, eyes and nose, wound care. The role of the nurse is promoting health. The national patient safety goals are listed here. You want to use at least two ways to identify patients such as full name and date of birth. Verify telephone and verbal orders by writing down and reading back the procedures. May use the SBAR for communication among healthcare professionals. Get information, test the results to the right person. Label all medications that are not already labeled. Take extra care with patients who take anticoagulant drugs. Use soap and water and hand sanitizer before and after every patient contact. Use evidence-based practice to prevent the infections due to multi-drug resistant organisms. Make sure to check any new medications with the patient's current medications. Give a list of patient meds to their next caregiver and a list to the patient's regular physician before the patient goes home. Evaluate for fall risk and take action to reduce the risk of injury. Assess patients at risk for pressure ulcers on admission and a regular basis throughout their care. Assess for any risk for patients at risk for suicide. And assess for risk for patients who are getting oxygen, such as fires, in the home. Universal protocol is done with pre-procedure verification, marked procedure site, and performance of timeout. It is important to conduct a timeout prior to the start of any invasive or surgical procedure so that you as a nurse can confirm correct patient, procedure, and site. Clinical judgment based on the nurse's clinical experience is part of evidence-based practice, but clinical decision-making also should incorporate current research and research-based guidelines. Evidence from one clinical research study does not provide an adequate substantiation for interventions. Evaluation of patient outcomes is important, but intervention should be based on research from randomized control studies with a large number of subjects. Assessment during the assessment phase, the nurse gathers information about the patient. This includes physical complaints of patient seen. This is necessary for nurses to take action. The nursing diagnosis, the assessment is subjective and the nurse should be able to make the nursing diagnosis. The nurse can also measure how much the patient will need care from the nurses. Planning is once the diagnosis is done, the nurse can discuss with the specialist to determine what plan of care that will need to be undertaken. This should be done as accurately as possible to avoid mistakes at the time of treatment. The implementation can be implemented in various ways depending on the needs of patients. Now, evaluation. After making the treatment plan, the nurse evaluates the success rate of treatments that have been implemented. Evaluation consists of determining whether the desired patient outcomes have been met and whether the nursing interventions were appropriate. Overall, the nursing process is a problem-solving tool to identify and treat patients' health care needs. In this slide, we see the patient's major problem is the impaired skin integrity as demonstrated by the presence of a pressure ulcer. The nurse is able to treat the cause of altered circulation and pressure by frequently repositioning the patient. Be careful with thinking that weakness is a problem because the nurse cannot treat weakness. A risk for a diagnosis is not the same as impaired tissue integrity. Now look at nutrition. If a patient has a fluid volume overload, how do you know that they have positive outcome? Sometimes you just start with the basics and think intake and output. When that is balanced, then the patient is balanced. An assessment is necessary in order to identify a problem and choose an appropriate intervention. Nurses cannot delegate teaching, assessment, or judgment. Assessment and patient teaching requires RN education and scope of practice cannot be delegated. When staff are floated to another unit, they will take the most stable patient. Collaborative. When implementing collaborative nursing actions, the nurse is responsible primarily for monitoring for complications of acute illness or providing care to prevent or treat complications. Collaboration is the shared planning, decision making, problem solving, goal setting, and assumption of responsibilities by those who work together cooperatively. A dependent action would require physician order to implement. Independent nursing actions are focused on health promotion, illness prevention, and patient advocacy. These activities overlap the activities of other health team members.